My name is Richard Walters. In this demonstration, we're going to look at printing headers and footers in Microsoft Project. This will also cover printing with logos. In this demonstration, we're going to look at printing in Microsoft Project using headers and footers to control the print. So this can be done on the file tab. We go into the print section. And then there's a little area called page setup just under the page size section. And I can single left click on this word page setup. And a gray box now appears. I can now set the headers and footers accordingly. So I'll start off with the header first. And we'll go to the left side of the header. And you might want to put something like created by. So who's the author? So I'm going to put created by myself. Now we're going to go to the footer. So for example, on the left side of the footer, I might want to put down the file name of this particular file. So I can get that from the general section. And I can choose the file name, and it's down here. Here it is, file name. And you've got to add it. You've got to click Add. So there it shows me what's happened to the file name. And what it's done now, because it's quite a long file name, it's overwritten this page one down the bottom here, the print. So it's gone over what's called the center of the print. So this area here is now affected. So I'm going to move this to the right of the footer. So I'm going to delete from here. And I go to the right of the footer. And I'm going to go to the drop down arrow again. I'm going to say page number. Add. And I'm not going to type in the word of. So I say page one of how many pages. And that's going to be again back down here for the total page count. Add. And now we can see the presentation, what it looks like, one of one. And we can see the footer, the name of the file. If we go to the header, we can see who created it. You might want to put a logo in as well. You can put something like a logo, like, a, like an image. So I'm going to do this in the header on the right. So I'm going to add a logo, which is the picture, which I can get from the icon here. This is inserting an image. I'm going to now find the image I want to insert. And it's this logo. Insert. And when it comes in, it comes in quite big. So I can see it here. It's very big, the image. And I can click on it. And it's a matter then of trying to resize it. So you can sometimes it's easy to start from the sides. So I'm going to come in from the side. You might squash it a bit, but then you can go from the top a bit. And then you start just resizing it. And now I can see the logo moving towards the top. I start showing me a bit more. So it's a bit of playing around with this. Maybe a bit from the sides. And it starts getting smaller and maybe looking more like a logo. More from the top. So it starts, you don't squash it too much. It doesn't look out of proportion. So you've got to get it so it starts looking like a Decent logo that looks something near it. And I'll accept that. So that's approximately correct. If I now click OK to see what's happened to all the headers and footers, we can now review it. And here's the created by. Got the file name down the bottom and the footer on the left. We got page one of one over in the bottom right. And at the top, we've got the logo. So this is how you can control headers and footers for printing in Microsoft Project. This now completes the demonstration on printing headers and footers in Microsoft Project, including logos. Hope you found the video to be of use and beneficial. See you in the next video.